Welcome back. We're now taking a look at today's beauty shot, a gorgeous drone shot down the Allegheny River. Let us know where you like to go to take pictures on our Talk Pittsburgh Facebook page, and we'll try and get out there. As we get ready for the Greater Pittsburgh Festival of Books this Saturday, we are showcasing one poet that you'll be able to hear from. We are so happy to have Danielle OBC Orlu here with us today. And we have to first say congratulations because you just graduated from Pitt. Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about your upbringing and what you brought you here to Pittsburgh. Of course, of course. I, um, I grew up in South Africa. I grew up in Johannesburg, South Africa. I was born in Washington, D.C. My parents are Nigerian, and so I've been boop, 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 um, a little bit of everywhere. And I came to Pitt because, I, I hate to say this, because I'm always like, I didn't come because of you. My older sister went to Pitt, the one right before me. <laughs> and we've been to school together our entire lives. So she went here, and then I considered it, and I went here, but I really found my passion. Um, and that's looking at international relations, looking at international human rights issues. So I did the Bachelor of Philosophy in International Area Studies, and it really encapsulated everything I loved from sociology to psychology to law to political science and really understanding issues of migration and movement and belonging. So that's also what my poetry centers around as well. Well, and so I, I was just asking Danielle what she wanted to do next. and. I am in the presence of someone who will change the world, people. <laughs> so tell us what, you, what you're going to be doing after, after right. this. Now that you've after this, I'll be going to Cornell to begin my PhD in government, as they say, or in international relations. And I'll be looking at issues relating to comparative expressions of xenophobia, but also how do we use local organizations, local stakeholders, and international organizations to build social cohesion, to build community, like we do with poetry, like we do with you know food and culture and everything. How do we use exchange to build bridges rather than division? So you've learned a lot through your studies already, and that's inspired your work. Has Pittsburgh also inspired your poetic work? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like I was saying to, um, when I first got the opportunity to come back to the Greater Pittsburgh Festival of Books, because I did it last year as Youth Poet Laureate of Allegheny County, I was saying poetry is flooding the streets of Pittsburgh, yeah. whether that's through the architecture, whether that's through the literal words on the ground. Around um, Oakland, we had an Oakland poetry project where they there are words there with people's poems about you know what it means to walk up and see Kathy, what it means to look at the bridges. And I was just speaking about what it means to drive back from the airport and really see the beauty that is Pittsburgh's landscape. Um, so I really think that Pittsburgh is a, com there's so many communities here that inspire me to do better and inspire me to really want to encourage others. So it's really about building bridges of belonging. I love um, that. As people would say, so yeah. And we're seeing video from last year from the Festival of Books. And you mentioned uh, that you were the, for you're the former Youth Poet Laureate of Allegheny County. Yes. What was that role like? Oh, that was an exceptional time. It really changed my life because I almost didn't do it. I really? almost, I came here and I was just like, do you know what, I'm here just for academic reasons, poetry is gone, everything is gone. But I was really, really excited when I got the opportunity to not only share my poems and write original poetry, but also work with local organizations and international organizations to really say, well, you have a message that is core to your mission, but what does it mean to get youth galvanized about it? Because youth are really the change makers. So it was, you know, civic engagement projects. It was sharing poetry, whether that's the Jazz Poetry Festival or whether that's being, through. this is my favorite opportunity ever, being invited by the International Crisis Group to come and share poetry at their philanthropist gala. And it is really about saying, how do we galvanize youth to use their voice? And how do we make sure that people are listening we should put them in positions where people will be able to listen to them and really hear that what they have to say matters. And we'll be able to listen to you this coming yes. weekend. So if people want to check you out at the Festival of Books, right. when can they hear from you? So they can hear from me the entire festival. It begins at 10 and it runs till 5 p.m. 8 p.m. 5 p.m. Let's go with there. It runs till 5. Um, it's at the Pittsburgh Theological Seminary and I will be in the Poetry Allowed tent um, and that starts I think as well from the right beginning from the beginning of the day right until the end of the day I will be going on I believe at one o'clock perfect um, and yeah and there's I'm also doing a second thing where I'll be interviewing Ross Gay and he's an exceptional poet and his poetry is all about joy which is also something that I'm I try and write about a lot because 
you can write about things that are impactful and moving, but joy is central to it. Yeah, it really is. And I know you brought something for right. us today. Right. You're going to read a little bit. A Let's tiny bit. This is a tiny poem. It is entitled Adira, um, and that means prayer in Yoruba, and that's my mom's native tongue. And yeah, I just wanted to read something very short and sweet. Please, I can't wait to hear it. Of course. So this is Adira. May the breath in your body learn the dances of your heart. May the spirit of joy surprise you when the room of your emotions seems empty and punishing. May the light you seek race to drown out the darkness of the day's troubles. May the ground chant your name with each step forward. May your heart protest at that which seeks to devour it. May you outgrow the husk of loneliness and bloom from soil nourished by laughter. May you be electrified by the voice deep inside. May you rest. Thank you. I love that. It's so, because you know, sometimes life can be very hard and it's hard to think that there is going to be a better day. Yes. To me, that is all about not taking life for granted, finding the light, finding the hope. There we go. Oh, there goodness, go. don't I feel so much better. I hope you do at home too. Oh, I hope so. Thank you for sharing that, Danielle. Thank you so much for having me. And be sure to look for her, of course, this upcoming weekend. KDK is a proud media sponsor of the Greater Pittsburgh Festival of Books, which will kick off at 10 o'clock Saturday morning at the Pittsburgh Theological Seminary. And of course, as you heard from Danielle, you can find her at one o'clock.